Okay, Mark should be on. Everything appears to be fine and dandy. Let's get rid of the usual text, which is this and that one. There we go. Another left friend on board. Hello? Hello. Hello. Okay, right, we're here to do a different game now, because we're done with Kingdom Hearts for now. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Just to chain of memories. Yeah, for chain of memories. No more card game mechanics, now to actual platforming, something I'm proficient at slightly. <laughs> Let me just change the screen and prepare for a sudden loudness because it's one of those games where it doesn't remember the settings till it actually launches. Typical. Right. At least you get them in the morning and me. Yeah. <laughs> so put that over there. Sega! Yeah, it's loud. Yeah. Mm. Oh dear. <laughs> there it is. You know which company made these Sonic's games? It has to be. And it remembers. There we go. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's been a while since I last played Sonic 4, so forgive me if I'm a bit rusty. Uh, yes, because I didn't make much progress at all. Oh, of course, I forgot the, the game settings. Just give me a minute. Yeah. Of course, pressing. Cross those the last audio. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Of course, <laughs> it's one of those games that forgets when you press the new game button. Typical. Yeah. Alright. Well, it seems to be decent enough. Sorry about Although that. Hello, can hear you again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is Sonic 4, and Jesus Christ, look at that model and its lighting. Why is it like this? It's so. Uh, <laughs> no. Alright, so now I'm. Now, ah, this is not good. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to how Psych Media works, not this. Hang on a second. Sorry, the sound effects are just a tid. Uh, there we go. Lowest possible, because it's not quite there. <laughs> ah, no offerings. So, yes, this is Sonic gameplay as we know it. Kinda. It's slightly off. Hang on. Uh, Makes it probably way less than it should be. Hey, those details. Hmm. Let me see here. I wonder, if, I wonder if I could pull it off. I've seen it where people can just get stuck on the side of the walls for just doing this. <laughs> That's how physics work. Uh, I've seen it where you can just literally just stop then. on the wall and just do your idle animations. <laughs> That's where the thumbnail was coming from. Uh, okay. They might fix that, maybe. Yeah, fixing a Sonic game, as if. So yeah, this is, this is trying to emulate the classic gameplay with a little bit of modernism, like the homing attack and such. Okay. But they use the homing attack in a lot of other games, then, because I've seen you do this a lot. <laughs> yeah, but it's like in the classic games, the homing attack wasn't a thing, so they added it, because they could. Okay. And also, the rolling physics are completely wrong, because you don't gain momentum doing that. Great. If I roll down, like, I don't get as much speed as I do if I just regularly run. Which is completely opposite what the previous games did. I go faster running than rolling. Which is faster, rolling in a bowl, or just running? Well, apparently, running. <laughs> I'll make sure I get the special stage as well. I need 50 rings to get the special stage, because I want to do that. Okay. I'm only doing the one, because I can't get all the emeralds. Because, well, you'll see what the special stage is like for a Sonic 1 emulation. So since uh, this is episode 1, it captures what the first game's special stages were like. Okay. Look at that classic Sonic sprite, and... Yep. So this is what the special stage is like. In the original, the... What I'm doing right now, I'm controlling the environment rotating. The original didn't do that, you just controlled Sonic. Like, the thing rotated on its own, but they switched it out for some reason. <laughs> Wait, so you're controlling Sonic and... I'm controlling... Again? I'm controlling the environment to control Sonic. Oh god, no, it's all of these things. 
It's not awful, but I kind of wish the camera was pulled back just a bit, because you can't see... So the first one's easy to complete, because reasons, but... Oh, there it is. Because it's the first one. Yeah, also, I made a slight tweak. <laughs> uh, this is only for the special stages, then. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Yes. Okay, it's one more then. <laughs> this ain't the vanilla experience, I'm gonna say that right now, for those bumpers. Yay, we got Chaos Emerald. There's seven hey, of them and... you were looking for the um, last one. Yeah, I was, but I'm not bothering this time around. <laughs> okay, off to the next stage. Right, off we go. It's been years since I actually played the original Sonic 4, so I might be a little rusty. Nah, it'll get back into no time. Oh yeah. At least I'll enjoy uh, Sonic, yep, uh, Sonic 4 Episode 2 a little bit better after this. Probably. It's coming back to me, slowly. Wee. <laughs> like, inherently design-wise, it does have good elements, but it's not perfect. Uh, this is some good element. Could be just bad things. Most people would prefer like Mania over this because it does harken to the usual gameplay experience. Like the classic fans, it throws them off. But someone like me who didn't really grow up with the classic series exactly, like that seems fine to me. It's <laughs> <laughs> not a OG Sonic fan then. Kind of a technicality. I grew up with the collection, not not the original games. <laughs> it's cheating. I trusted you. <laughs> Getting the special stages is, is a pain because the fact you need 50 rings to get it, and it's very easy to lose all that progress. Yeah. That's why I'm not bothering. Also, it doesn't really unlock anything at the ending anyway. Because in the previous games, if you got all the emeralds, at least a set of them, you would unlock an extended ending or something like that. Not really much here. Hang on. No, okay, no. Took too long. Oh, so... Yeah, they ripped the control away if you get too far away from it. It's like a small timer. Okay, so you actually have to go into the ring to get the special stage. You have to remember to jump in. You have to remember to jump in the okay. thing. If you missed it, you missed it. That just seems unnecessary. <laughs> you already went to the work of unlocking it like, Oh, you didn't bend into it. Well, Oops. now you lost everything. This is why I liked Mania more for how you did it, because you just had to find the uh, special stage rings around the stage, not at, just at the end. Okay. And for some reason this game decided to have three acts instead of just two, because apparently we wanted more gameplay. Wait, three acts inside? Uh, for each zone we go to, there are th for this game there are three acts. There's supposed to be two, because oh, okay. the original didn't do that. Yay, secret. Hey. Pay attention to the background environment. Paying attention to the video game, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> Pro. I still wish the... I feel like the screen's just a smidge too close. I don't know, is that just me? Like, it's very yeah, easy to get sure. blindsided by things. Oh, of course I can't jump up that. Why wouldn't I? already. Just about how short these stages are. <laughs> oh, okay, I missed that. Oh, never mind. Another one. Yay. Just gave that away for the fact that there's a spike pit there. <laughs> Wee. Yeah, if you notice that some of the design is slightly automated. I'm just holding right here, and it's mostly doing the work for me. <laughs> well, it does look cool. Looks it? like you know what you're doing. Slightly. If you haven't said anything, I wouldn't have noticed. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. It's really good at Sonic. I wonder you <laughs> like it so much. <laughs> oh, never mind. Went too far. <laughs> and that's it. We're done. That was two minutes for, that, for those stages. That's the first zone. Also, there's only four zones. Not like six or eight. Like four. You only get four. Okay. 
so this stream could be over in an hour. It could, <laughs> it very well could be. I know yeah. there's a boss, it's okay. Of course there's a boss, it's a classic game. I'm just gonna make sure I collect these. Maybe the other one might need them. And since this is a march to Sonic 1, it's the Eggman. The, the oh. boulder. Except we got the homing attacks, this is significantly easier. <laughs> <laughs> So imagine I am, because normally you, you would have to... You have to jump into him yeah. legitimately, but if we have this, we can break this the boss in half. But then he's got a desperation move! Now he's gonna slightly toss it harder. Yeah, I wonder why bosses don't uh, start with the strongest attack from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me wonders. There he goes. You should stop him, like, hit him now, but I don't wanna. Yay, we saved the animals. Yay. We did it! Yay! That only took like one minute. No, 50 seconds. Less minute. than a minute. <laughs> and I thought I cheated on the chosen where I just used one attack to kill her. But to be fair, that was like. <laughs> the real challenge was just getting to her, not actually fighting her. Yeah. Also, I use this stage a lot just to test the sound. <laughs> I'm so glad I modded that. Yeah, yeah. it adds <laughs> so much better to the stream. It's like, yeah, I, you know, it's pretty vanilla if I didn't do something about it. Since this is a casino theme, these bumpers are everywhere. Uh, so we're in Las Vegas right now then. Yes, that's how fig physics work. I yeah. know, uh, like, Earth exists in the Sonic universe. <laughs> At least, I think it does based on the movie that I didn't saw. <laughs> <laughs> that happened on the space on Earth. <laughs> yeah, this is why I don't like pinball stages though, is this half randomness. So most of the time, the pinball physics in these don't work. I should do a live stream of the Windows pinball. <laughs> I mean, if I'm really bored. <laughs> like, that game actually was funny, you know, I was never good at it. Oh, yeah, we were, we were all bad at it, but yeah, inherently it was quite fun. I should really just go down, not up. It doesn't work like this. Oh, I can't take this seriously with that at all. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I modded it. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I've summoned him. I used it too much. I summoned the Eggman. There goes all my rings. It's a pink is too much. You still the word that shall not be named. <laughs> So, this game did implement the spin dash, is what I've been using so far, but it's significantly weaker than it's been before. And it's better to just do a homing attack in the air to actually generate the speed. Okay. Uh, yeah, no experience since i not playing it. I'm just telling you this now that yeah. they've nerfed it. Uh, at least they give us something to make up for it. Of course. I've also got to explain this to the audience who may have never noticed. Probably. So. Ah, oh, I'm one sure. That's a shame. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Chances are you wouldn't have gotten it anyways if it just went by it. Oh, yeah, and I would just run next to it. Oh, no one up. That's a shame. I do appreciate there's a unique theme for each act. They don't just use the same one, it's nice. And that is not like for uh, like, I did that it was kind of a uh, cash grab game, like they could have half a little bit more than this one. Well it was a cash grab slash anniversary title, so what are you gonna do? Okay. This stage is really good for making lives up though. Because they just give them away. 
Like, if you see any of these card things here, imagine, you know, easy amount of lives from this. Uh, okay, so... I'm so glad I, like, didn't change the sound effect for anything else. <laughs> I think these bumpers here were a temporary change for a minute, but I, I was trying to find what the original bumper sound effect was, because they, uh, okay. you know, they don't label them easy. Literally. Oh. Yeah, they have some label at all, and it's just for the number. Yeah, they, they labeled it weird. It's like, uh, Bobbin? I think that's what the file name is. I don't get the name for that. Bobbin. <laughs> for bumpers, apparently. They should bump in the box to make some Bobbin sound, maybe? I suppose? Question mark. But yeah, if I really wanted to, I have to be really you know, desperate for it. I could change, like, every sound effect to wherever I want. Wee! Automation! <laughs> ah, damn it. Oh, that's. Okay. That wasn't a bombless pit, thank god. Uh, that's all this guy feels like, oh no, I'm going to fall to my. Oh no, there's a floor, nice. <laughs> yeah, usually, um. So the team that developed this one was Dimps, I believe, who made the handheld Sonic tiles from before, like on the DS and such. And they're quite infamous for using bottomless pits everywhere. Uh. So I'm surprised that that wasn't one. Mmm, <laughs> extra lives, yummy! Oop. That should have been a bottomless pit right there, but it wasn't. Dimps, who are you? <laughs> We've done with the real Dimps. <laughs> Nothing, we are the... Definitely didn't take over the company and now uh, make a profit on their work. <laughs> No, my rings. What am I to do? Look at that. I'm already at 20 lives. Just give me more. 23? Wee. <laughs> no effort. <laughs> so. Usually in these stages that you notice like a recurring enemy type is Ooh, Christ, that's still falling. <laughs> um, is when I usually do the homing attacks they use um like these weird blue floaty things, the sphere things. Usually they're supposed to have like spikes come out if you wait too long, but they just took those away for the sake of having a homing attack chain. <laughs> they're just cannon fodder. <laughs> nice. Hey man, you built these things, why would you take away the very thing that makes them attack? Uh, I have my reasons. Those spikes were expensive, okay? <laughs> you oh, just spike all my robots on the time- oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> I mean, yeah, these, these things could be costly at the end of the day. Actually, is there a kind of explanation, like, where he gets the money to build all those robots? Not really. Like. I try to, but I uh, don't think. I can't think of a reason as to how he gets the money. Maybe just. When he has a really high queue, doesn't he? Of 300, so maybe yes. He probably figured out a way to make money then. Where's the end stage? Where is it? Should be here by about now. The stage is getting longer as we the further we go on? It doesn't seem right. Damn this homing attack. I pressed it twice by accident. <laughs> well, you homed in on your death there. Yep. At least it was a checkpoint right there. They're quite forgiving on that. God damn it. This is one of those uh, you think you've landed, press the button. Oh no, homing yeah. attack instead. The. As soon as you press the button, you're like, why did I just do that? Now this is the end. God damn it, they just tease it. <laughs> oh, we generated enough lives for the rest of the game, so that's something. Yay. Apparently there is an achievement for getting over nine, uh, 99 of them, which I didn't do for some reason. Like, Not I... an achievement hunter. <laughs> Well, I, I went out of the way for Sonic Generations for those achievements, and half of those are borked. Like, half of them are legit broken that you physically cannot do them. Uh, 
They're, they're, yeah. they're tied to the online aspect, which when they ported it to PC is completely buggered. It's impossible to do them properly. <laughs> okay, yeah. Mainly it's to do it's to do with uploading the uh, like the high scores for times and all that such. For some reason they just won't register through correctly. And half the time it crashes. Yeah, that sounds like Joy. Hey, the rest of the game is perfectly fine. It's an amazing ported version of the game, except it isn't. <laughs> we are probably like at the end of the development phase, like, okay, do we really need that? Then they were like, nah, actually not. No one's playing this game nowadays. It's not like this is the entire Phantom's favorite game or anything. <laughs> ah, I love Marvel Zones, these things, or Spring Yard, sorry. I'm mixing up my Sonics. Nope, can't take the bumpers seriously anymore. <laughs> it's gone, it's out the window. I think I'm gonna have to mod Sonic uh, Episode 2 for, for this as well. Just for the sake of consistency, since they made yeah. on the same engine and everything. I'm gonna ignore that. Ooh, I mean, there were rings here, I had to look. Hmm, automation. My favorite. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> Wondering. Saw that on the top. Uh, I'm gonna go the other way. Now, okay, fine, I won't go that way. <laughs> Except I will. Just need to go slightly lower. I wasn't sure. Oop. Okay, missed that. That box was there, so I can actually get up there. Oop, that's that's how slopes work, apparently. You should not go up that high. <laughs> This is all optional, goddammit. I didn't need to go this way. <laughs> Wait, that actually might have been the actual path. God damn it! <laughs> I got the you got the shield. Ah, 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 Hate pinball physics. Hang on. <laughs> nope. Yeah, that makes sense. When it's, I hate when it's upside down because you don't know which direction you're supposed to be holding. Do so you think, like, should I do the oh, reverse inputs or do I just keep holding the direction I'm currently at? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, or in the platform is also really messed up with that. <laughs> I got crushed. Yeah. So. Okay, at least you know which way is the correct way now. Turns up. Damn, bumper goes away. Okay, moving on. Eh, not this time. Oh, okay, that makes up for it. This isn't the direction we want to go. Uh, I've moved the I've moved the thing now, so now I gotta time it. Since I touched the oh wait, no reset. Never mind. Just jump into the thing. It makes more sense than just landing on it. How would you immediately jump into a cannon that fires you at high speed? I don't know. It's there. It looks cool. I hate these because it's so easy to get crushed by accident. I'm gonna spin dash through this. There we go. It's safe. Oh, good, it's a maze. I hate this. I don't want to follow the rings too long, or else it will probably deviate me to a trap. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, it's one of these. I don't like this. It's like <laughs> one very long path, and you gotta do it perfectly. You wanted this game. Yeah, because it'd be a good laugh. <laughs> Back to me why I don't play this ever again. <laughs> uh, same XCOM and then I still play it again. 
There we go. Almost there. I can make this work. There we go. Ah, checkpoint. Oh, Sweet checkpoint. Don't leave me ever again. <laughs> oh, f and oh, good. no pit. We a very specific placement. Oh, that's a tight homing shot. Just barely see it. You give actually first skill. <laughs> <laughs> It's a platforming game, what do you expect? up your mind. <laughs> it's a platforming <laughs> game, what do you expect? It just, it wouldn't be so bad if they just pulled the camera back just a tiny smidge, it's too close. Yeah. For a game like this, you need to see as far as you can, and it's too far in the middle. Boss time! Super and done it. Yeah, need that. Of course, I can't attack him early. And why would you? Me. Ah, let go. No. Ah. It's a gravity machine. Wait, this shouldn't be working at all. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be able to hold me at all. Yeah, you should give up a, like two seconds after you first got him. Oh, now he's doing desperation. Lightning! Ow. Okay. Hang on. Uh, there were lightning bolts. <laughs> <laughs> he does indeed. Ah, and he spins! He spins! Oh. Ah, damn it, almost got him. And it disappeared before I can get it. Damn it. <laughs> Almost had him. <laughs> he was literally one shot left. Like, I think when he's in desperation, it's just three hits. Just got unlucky with controls. I'm gonna blame the controls. It's a valid excuse. Yeah. It's definitely your probability, and it's never your fault alone. To be fair, the homing attack is a bit off. Like, it doesn't work how I imagine it does. Now it's working. <laughs> Again. There we go. Done. He didn't even do his move this time. <laughs> uh, can you still fly with that thing? I don't know. It's a, it's a weird egg mobile. Yay, we saved more animals. Is there actually a story why he is abducting these animals for this one? Well, in the original three games, he used the animals as a power source for all the uh, robots we've been destroying. Like, every, each one we destroy, we free the animal inside. Okay. Oh, <laughs> because I did the boss so Yeah, because I did it so fast, I got a massive time bonus. <laughs> I think we, we can skip that. I just let it roll out for some reason. <laughs> but, yeah, for this game, I have no idea why he's capturing them. Like, he has other power sources by now. And ant animal is usually not the best power source. As well as human. Don't ask me, ask the Eggman. <laughs> yeah, here's our obligatory water stage, which everyone hates. Even me. Uh. Oh my god, that was in the pit. Human Legend actually made water stages really fun. Yeah, wait until. Wait until the water kicks in. I actually didn't mind them in Ori the Plant Force as well. Well, Ori was, Ori was a good game, so that's an exception there. <laughs> um. Oh, not Indiana Jones, ah! Yeah. Actually, can I go back? Oh, missed it. Oh, well, that's, that's a shame. I held right. How dare I? You, you went fast in the Sonic game, how dare you? 
Oh, no, can't go left. That's not allowed, apparently. Oh, I don't like this thing. Oh, I just need to stay on top of it. Yeah, but you have to keep pressing, like, left and right to balance yourself, and I messed up pretty badly on that one. Oh. Hang on, there's gotta be something in these. Oh, I'm disappointed. It was supposed to be a thing, and it wasn't a thing. <laughs> These things are just not a threat if they don't have the spikes. You can see where the spikes would be on the circular bits. Oh, is it the pink ones? Yeah, the, the pink spots on it, like... Uh, there, is a, there is like a red variant where it does have spikes. It's just like immersive. Like, you see where they were supposed to be, like, I knew you had them, and now you're letting me know again to rob the fact and... Just simple recolors. Oh, ah, I was supposed to duck there. He's like, ah, I can't stop here, I must keep moving. Must move at an accelerated pace. <laughs> I do like you can use the homing attack just to get a little bit extra range, but besides that, eh. so <laughs> I think I lost the path for that now. The thing won't respawn. There's not another few rings. That's fine. Okay, moves on it automatically. Yeah, I gotta tap left to keep moving forward. That makes sense. Uh. Yeah, he jumps on that automatically. That's nice to know. One of these is mandatory. I know it. Oh, I don't like that. You have to jump off that one. <laughs> Oh, I can just look to the right to the smidge. Uh, but that's in sections. Yeah. Okay, I thought I had to jump off at the end. I'm pretty sure one of these you have to jump off. Yeah, let's go again. Yeah. Stay on it, stay on it. Oh, the Christ, don't oh, jump off yet. No, it's going faster. I don't like this. <laughs> yeah, it's not. We're, we're done here. Good. Get me the hell out of here. <laughs> you do have the option to go to the hub wall, but you don't have to do this one one long run. Thank God. And this ain't like the old games. Oh, uh, well, I have because I didn't have safe points there at all. No, and. Back then, you just had a password system half the time. Alright, so in this stage, we're in a complete darkness with this torch we happen to have. So, have fun with that. Darkness! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the soundboard's not either ready for that one. Uh. Hmm, I love obscurity. We've had enough of darkness. Yeah, we've had enough for now. Not. <laughs> so, yeah, the enemies can be easily hidden in the dark, which is great. Yeah. I don't know who thought of this idea for a platformer for Sonic's Calver. I think I've got to make more different levels than I can... Hmm. I know, give him a torch. But, but, yeah, but they can't see as you're fighting. Perfect. Oh, also explosives. Okay, I can't agree with explosives. Everybody loves explosives. Yeah, but they're not in your favor half the time. Like that. They're just, just off screen, you just have to assume they're there. Oh, well, I shouldn't be there. Oh, that still hurt me on the residue. Of course it does. Oh, now I'm there still, right? Right, I have to make sure I keep holding the right here so I can keep moving and jumping. It's weird. Uh. Yeah, if I don't, if I don't hold right and jump, if my jump doesn't go as far as it should. Of course it does. Okay. You think it being automated, you wouldn't need to do that. Yeah, I guess it should just fall down, but... Physics. Yeah. This game. Got gotcha. you. Ah, they're everywhere. Oh, there it is. I mean, you're fighting with... Uh, you're playing a blue hedgehog that can run at supersonic speed and fighting a man and his robot army, so... Maybe... Logic isn't the most prevalent one. <laughs> So, okay, uh, I'm not 
sure if I'm supposed to trigger that or not, but I'm going to leave it for now. Uh, yes, I was supposed to trigger that. At some point, we'll, get, we'll end up with like a puzzler, so we have to figure out what we should and shouldn't uh, explode. Great. I don't want to think about dealing with explosions. Think with explosions? Nah. Actually, there's a thing there. I'm supposed to. That's probably for later. Also, why are you going darker now? That torch is still lit. Hmm. Uh, shut away a bit. <laughs> Explosion go boom. I know you never made it to like explosions. So, um, at the time when this was released, I believe this was released for the, uh, it was, it was added to the, uh, the Wii version, which, um, most of the soundtrack was mostly MIDI, very, very poor quality MIDIs. MIDIs? Uh, they're like, um, very simplified instruments, pretty much. Oh, okay. One of these I'm not supposed Did to it? activate. Should you just, I think you just have to time it, like... Let them all up and then be quick enough. Yeah, uh, no, no, it's like I only need two of them. So I definitely need this one. And this one? No, it can't be that one. So well, this one, right one. This one act activates the one I can jump up on. Then it blocks the pathway. And this one just lights the room. I think it's like. Let's do this one. Okay, yeah, that works. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, puzzles. No, I just got time better. Uh, that's gonna go out in a second. Okay, so I do this one first. Wait a few seconds. This one. God damn it. It just went. <laughs> <laughs> That's just mean. Ah, uh, I mean puzzles. There we go. Yeah. Oh, made that harder than it really should have been. <laughs> I want both. I don't care. I already got a shield. Hmm. Well, torches in here, but nothing's happening. Should I be concerned? I'm not sure it's fine. I'll light all the torches and suffer the consequences later. That sounds like your plan. Also, it's probably timed, so. <laughs> I mean, for some reason, these torches like to go out. I'm not sure why. It's not how torches work, they don't go out immediately. Go on at some point. Yeah. Uh, crap. Okay, this this is fine. I'm pretty sure at some point there'll be like a death pit tied to one of these. <laughs> Some of uh, the Eggman has never designed something like that. You say that. <laughs> um, right, so fun fact with like the original instruction manuals. Apparently, like if any game breaking glitch happens, like and the original three games, you say, Oh, it was one of Eggman's devious traps, not the game-breaking whatsoever. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love him, I like that. Like, it, it's lazy, but it's creative, because, you know, there was no such thing as yeah. fixing the game back then. I mean, like, how? You can't just magically transfer large amounts of data to somebody. The only way they <laughs> would... The only way they would update a game is if they would did, they did re-releases for it. But that was it. Yeah, I mean that's why like, for all the Street Fighters and stuff like that, the additional versions were really important because then you could actually balance <laughs> these games. 
It's also why, um, like, Platinums and Game of the Year editions of games exist, just for that reason. <laughs> most, most of the time, it's like, oh, good, it was popular, we can re resell it again, but make it better. Yeah. Then online can happen, and now people complain if they don't get a new content patch every one month. The benefit with Game of the Year releases and Platinums is that you can, you can buy the game again, yes, but it's also cheaper this time around. Uh, about the e. yeah, here, here we are, and you know, Sonic can drown, as it calls again. Oh wait, he can drown? Yeah, yeah he, he don't breathe underwater like Mario does for some reason. So we have air bubbles. Grab a second one, yeah, these. So I gotta grab them whenever I can see one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, thankfully he has a quite forgiving amount of time under the water, compared to how um, Sonic Forces does it, where he can only stay under the water for like five seconds. <laughs> like, Christ, that's uh, a significant difference. Yeah, I, I could hold my breath longer than that. Yeah, here you got like I mean, a... I'm not running at super sonic speed, but still. <laughs> yeah, so here you got like a forgiving, let's like, say like 20 seconds or more. Like, just enough. But this, since this is actually the entire stage is going to be revolving around this water mechanic. Oh, of so course it does. Goody. Ah, oh, here we go. So here's the special stage mechanic again. So I gotta move myself this way. I don't know how Sonic's doing this. He just is. And then tilt it this uh, way to push that. Do. Yeah, to push that block out. There he goes. Yeah, you'll see that multiple times. Uh, Alright, so this is a looping section. I gotta jump off at the right time. Oh, okay. Do that. Like, this goes a long way down. <laughs> yes. Oh, good! It's a wall crushing moment. I don't like this. Thanks, uh, Hydrosity Zone. I didn't need to see this again. <laughs> oh, and water. Why not? Just, uh, just have both. Should not have done that. I mean, no matter what, <laughs> so no risk, okay, because, like, best case you lose this life, and best case like this, you just gain one. Most of the time you end up losing more than you gained. Uh, right, so the invisibility here does not, like, stop me from drowning. I think I can still drown. Well, even then, it will drown out by the time I need to drown. <laughs> need to drown. Oh, look, another one. Because the thing keeps looping no matter what. That's nice. Usually it would reset if you just hit the thing. Oh, the, the music. Where is the air bubble? This is concerning. Oh, there we go. Let me just make sure. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Don't want to turn on being invincible. It's kind of. <laughs> <laughs> kind of reductive. Yeah. Oh, that, that was something. Uh, oddly specific for like Super Sonic, like you are invincible while Super, but you can still drown. <laughs> Which is, mm, you're supposed to be like the souped up, the mega form where nothing can kill you, except you can drown and be crushed. <laughs> uh, but, um, I, mean, I can't get running to some degree, but crushing should not happen. It's like... I mean, this hedgehog can't swim, so. <laughs> but, um. Real yeah, life in real life, hedgehogs can swim. That was the creator's fault. He thought they couldn't. <laughs> God damn it. Oh no, it reset as well. That's great. Alright, I gotta tilt it just right out there. And now to agonizingly wait. Come on. Come on. Just a bit more. Come on. Oh, I just. Almost. There we go. Oh, good. Another looping section. Uh. Alright, it was at the start, so... It... Oh. Oh, no. I need that. There. Uh, that, that? that probably opened the door on the other side. So, we jump from here this time. Okay, that did something. There we go. And we're done. Okay, okay, good. We're out for the, of this hell. 
Uh, at least it wasn't that long. That was the longest stage yet. Because water. Yeah, but like it could have been a longer. <laughs> like it could have been all water levels. I don't. Oh wait, no, no, I remember what this stage is. Uh, this particular boss fight. Hmm. No well, machinery, Eggman. What have you got? This seems too easy. It never is. Wait, do you know how to damage him? Right, this is paying an homage uh, to the original Sonic 1 boss fight. It literally was just a race to the end. That was it. It wasn't even a race, just get to the end. It didn't matter if you beat him or not. <laughs> you physically couldn't either. Like, he had like over like a thousand hit points, whatever. You physically couldn't do it. I mean, if he hit him, he sped up, but that was it. But, but the hitting him is counterproductive. Yeah, it'd be great if Eggman just like gave us a lift here or something. He did it last time with the claw machine. <laughs> yeah, but that person was spike pit. I didn't like that. Very, very easy to lose progress because we're underwater. Just barely held on to that. Right, so if we die, we have to do all that again. Well, then don't die. Easier said than done. Hey, hey, eh. I'll do it. Oh, I can only hit him. Oh, there we go. I got two. I'm happy. This is gonna take a while due to the nature of it. Eggman, go down! You make things easier. Yeah, we'll speed up and then you've messed up. So ideally, I want to stay as close to Eggman as possible, considering that's his only safety net. He's equally yeah. as endangered to this thing. Uh, okay, a little bit of platforming here. There we go. My rings! No! Uh, can... Oh, wait to... Oh, I ah. missed it. Also, I got hurt by Eggman, not not the, the death trap itself. Yeah. His homing attack would be weird. I always hate like this logic of... Wait, this ship does not hurt you if you touch it. Apparently it does. It's like... How? <laughs> it's, like it's like touching the sides of spikes. Apparently that's equally as dangerous. Yeah. Or running into them, like... And they're pointing upwards, it's like, no, I don't help myself if I run <laughs> to them this way. That's the Mega Man logic speaking there. Any spikes, just touch it, it blows them up. <laughs> yeah. I'm just surprised Wily didn't actually create like a spike man. It's so easy. <laughs> Alright, we're in our semi final stage here. Okay, so there are actually five plus four. Uh, no, this is, this is four. But, uh, I say semi. Yeah. I say semi-final because it's like this one extra for the sake of a final boss fight. It's not an actual oh, stage. Okay. This is so totally... three of these, one boss fight, and then the boss fight. Yeah. Okay. And this is totally not ripping off like uh, uh, Metropolis Sun from Sonic 2. Like this is one to one. <laughs> it's just missing the music, really. So, is this again like one of the ships, or...? I think we're in a factory, judging by all the pistons okay. and such. Whee! Steam pipes! Get it? Steam? Because this is on the Steam software. Uh... We pretty much got all the enemies from Metropolis turned from Sonic 2. <laughs> Slicers, the crab claw thingies. Fun. <laughs> most, of the, yeah, most of the time, these pla these guys were in enemy placements that were right next to legends and such. You would do it like you're guaranteed to be hit by them, so they sucked. <laughs> so say goodbye to try and get all the emeralds from this one. <laughs> okay, it's safe. Thank God. Uh, I don't like this. That's what could happen. Yeah, I could be crushed, plus being hurt by spikes. Two of the worst things ever. 
I don't know two of the best things ever. Um, way home, more horrible ways to die. Yeah, like drowning. For example, like, because it's so slow. Drowning would actually be horrifying, that. Oh, yeah, it totally is. Like, it would take longer than you think it would by logic. Yeah. Like, there's, there's the part where you lose your air, yeah, okay. And what about the dying process of it? Because that's going to take him a solid minute or two. Yeah, and it's also like the fact that it, you can survive quite a bit without air. Yeah, and during this whole time, you probably know I'm about to die, mm -hmm. and I can't do anything about it. It's also the struggle of trying to reach for air that just does not exist. And yeah. Jesus Christ. Ah, damn it. Should have known that was going to be there. <laughs> too much progress. Also, there's the red variant, and there it goes. It's the one that actually can hurt me. It didn't give it a chance. Nope. Why would I? Right, I'm gonna stay here, spin dash, get ready for the next one. Yeah, okay. Good thing I did that. If I just ran it, that would have crushed me as well. <laughs> yeah. Almost as if you would have to use the two to advance. God damn, I'm really going through this quickly. This is a short game. <laughs> I forgot how short. Oh, goody, gears. They're moving at two frames a second. Even I can't see more than two frames per second. That's not how gears work. That's not how frames work. <laughs> No idea if I can get crushed by them, so I don't want to find out. I think that uh, every video game logic that I can tell is you get crushed by gears <laughs> if they move into these directions. Oh, uh, sort of thing, but that nah, doesn't matter. It's too late. You live in the past. <laughs> Why go for the thing that could be dangerous if you go for the thing that's slightly less dangerous? Yeah. So I gotta... Oh, other way. Oh, of course I can't spin dash this thing to make it faster. Why would I? That makes too much sense. I mean, it gets faster now, see? Yeah, but it's like, if I spin dash instead, I can just build it up. Immediately. Make it fast. Whee, invincibility in a place that's not that dangerous. <laughs> they love doing this too much. Just asking me to be careless, that's the problem. And I'm going to be uh, careless. Mm -hmm. oh, that is that really does annoy me, the fact you just can't just hold down the button and do the thing slightly faster. Yeah, you opened the door. Yeah, but it wasn't how I would have done it. I would have done it in a ball. Big difference there. Another one, they're just handing these away. Usually they're supposed to be like, you know, rewards and such, rarities. That's okay, I didn't want to hear the stages theme anyway. Maybe it's, it's to come up that the theme isn't that long. <laughs> That's probably true. So I couldn't jump out. Now, there you go. Uh, this is why I hate slices. They can just get you when you don't expect them. <laughs> All of your wings. Yeah, I wasn't gonna use them. I just hold on to them. What else am I supposed to do with them? Good shit. I don't actually need the platforms. I can just jump it. Springs. There we go, that's what I saw earlier. Tyranny, tyranny, tyranny. 
I gotta hurry up, or else it's gonna go back down. I'm surprised I didn't get crushed from that. You can get crushed by the door as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you could. Uh, hey, just run into the platforms that you know, destroy your face. Oh, that was the other one again. It was nice. Wait. Said I. <laughs> then you killed him. Of course. You monster. Oh, no, you don't. Alright, he's pretty much harmless now. I disarmed him. Get it? Dis disarmed? <laughs> he doesn't have arms anymore. Yeah. Damn it. That was, a, from a, that was from a star enemy from the walls. They like doing that. Just take me off screen, why don't they? Right. <laughs> it's really, it's like a bot. This is a great game. <laughs> right, it's it... like, wait, was this Egg 2 again? Yeah, that, oh, that was impending doom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's accurate. Right, we're already at X3. And it's a crushing moment, yay! I love oh, crushing yeah. walls. Should've picked up that spilly. Oh well. <laughs> Sticks with me. Oh, Christ. Is either that would have crushed me or the other thing would have crushed me. Yeah. Something always crushes you. Oh. Yeah. You're not allowed to attack twice in a row. Yeah. I'm petty. Oh, joy. I'm pretty sure this tilting thing was designed for the Wii in mind. Like, you, I could totally see this with the Wii remote. Ah, uh, but you tilt against Bola. Yeah. Probably, like, oh, look at this new feature we have, let's make a gimmick out of it. We got gyro controls on this thing! No, I'm not. I need it, I actually need it. I need it for the button's sake, not the mm. life. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like this. Pending Doom is definitely accurate. Uh, this way. Is there any way I can go? No, I must jog at a slightly comfortable pace. Ooh. Yeah, it's fine. There we go. Okay, that's all I to do it. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to be safe. Go under it rather than over. Hmm. Speed shoes. I'm pretty sure there's another wall section coming up any second now. Uh, not that way. Just pretend I didn't do that. Okay. So what does happening a few seconds ago? Lost memories of it. <laughs> Still getting over those artifacts from the damn castle. Right, it should be near the end yeah, now. I mean, they, why does she keep doing this? Ah, Jesus Christ, it's literally a drill machine. <laughs> That's brutal. Why is he drilling through his own factory? That's a good question. I mean, it's a death machine. Or maybe he just built this to lure Sonic in and then kill him. Hmm, there's a factory over here. Let's go check it out. What do you mean it's a death trap? I actually wouldn't be too stupid. Ooh. And these crushers, <laughs> they're everywhere! There actually is like an in-story reason why this factory exists, and it's for a really stupid purpose. <laughs> What's the purpose? Well, I'm not sure if I'm gonna bother with it, because, um... So... Episode 2 had like a game tie in incentive if you actually own both games on the same system. So for Episode 2, it came with Episode Metal, where it featured Metal Sonic. You get to play as Metal Sonic. And that's pretty neat. And apparently, okay. you pre it's pretty much just an excuse to replay the first game again, <laughs> just with a Metal Sonic skin. But once you get to this stage, apparently the purpose of this whole factory was to recharge Metal Sonic. <laughs> that's it. Ah, uh, okay. He needs to recharge his batteries. That's why he needs the giant factory. Hmm, I love reused bosses. 
Hey, there's little mini Eggmans. That's cute. Oh, they explode. Okay. <laughs> but you have to kill the real Eggman. The mini fake ones. Just brute force this, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so even if you destroy all those things around him? Uh, I don't need to. Um, they're protecting him, but I'm supposed to hit the main thing okay. in the center. Okay. That just makes it easier, I guess. Eggman moved in the direction that wasn't safe. I need to place myself under him and hit him as much as I can before he reaches the bottom. Because I think he's active no matter what. This animation so much because it's hard to tell where it's safe and where it isn't. I'm slightly off screen too. Okay, they explode in the wrong time. That's actually good to know. God damn it! <laughs> nope. Oh, for God's sake, Eggman! Why have you designed them this way? And to get bounced up into them again, it's really annoying. Well, he's done already. It was short. There he goes. Hey. I accept it's not over yet because desperation move and all that. Let's get closer. This is gonna be tricky. I can't use the uh, homing attack to get myself faster. I have to do it legit. How dare he! Oh no. A real challenge. Ah, oh, damn, I missed all the rings too. I hate these, because the hit detection is really weird. And he decides to throw in extra ones too, blue and red variants. Sorry, yellow variants. Yeah, ones. It's hard to tell where the hitbox is actually supposed to be. There we go, it's just three times, thank god. Ah, oh, well, free, of course. Yeah, that, that boss is the worst one. <laughs> it's just really, really easy to lose all your rings due to the nature of them. And the more you actually... Uh, the more you recollect the same rings and you get hit, the further away they fly away from you. So... Oh, that, that, that's evil. Yeah, so if you end up with one ring, you get hit, and... Ah, shit, there it goes, it's off to a thousand miles away. Alright, we did it. Beat the game. Yeah. But we need to find a boss, because that's how games work. And that was the final boss if this was the hard one. That was the final boss to that, that stage. Yeah, I'll just borrow this from Tails. He won't mind. He has a rocket ship just lying around. Yeah, he just has a rocket ship lying around for some random ass reason, and we never see it again afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because he went to space with it. So, yeah, this is like a boss rush now. We're just playing the same bosses again, but slightly different. Meaning slightly easier. You can see this thing goes up and down, now it's easier. <laughs> it's it's all the previous boss fights. Mm -hmm. Again. <laughs> exact same ones, but I think they skip the... Yeah, they skip the uh, panic mode thing, whatever. They have it active by default. But this is running on Death Egg logic from Sonic 2, where you only got a set amount of rings, so... I think there's an achievement for doing this in one life, I think. Which is possible, I think. Okay, I have to say, this is really lazy sight. <laughs> well, there's a surprise at the end. Yeah, but still, like... Oh, did you have fun doing those bosses like one hour ago? Well, you do it again. But this time, they only have three hit points. Getting less rings from that one. Now for the Aztec Zone one. But this time with machinery. Ooh, new textures. I love new textures. Oh, the room sounds different, I'll give him that. Come on, where's the floor? I need it. Damn it. Uh, he got me! 
Do you have to do all of them in the... No, no, there were checkpoints, okay. thank god. There's just less rings now because of it. Okay, that's fair. It's just slow. I don't like slow in my sign game. <laughs> if you hold down the up button, he just does the animation. He has a key. Fell for it again. <laughs> Sorry, it's the anticipation of like, oh, I just want to get a free hit on him. I want to hit him twice yeah. instead of one. You can do this the second time when you only need to, like, really need to hit to kill him. There's, no, there's no way you'll fall for it twice. It'd be different this time, I swear. <laughs> ah, damn it. The damn pillow made me move into it, man. Oh, yeah, because it goes back down. Yeah, when it retracted. Oh, I don't like that one. As soon as I hit him, I'm pretty much stuck. Yeah. It's completely random what level there I was. I got lucky on the previous one. <laughs> the killing machine is the flooring in the room itself, not the actual, well, Eggman. Platforming is the death trap here. <laughs> it's all the death trap I'm too familiar with. Oh, damn it. That one only allowed one. Do it again, I dare you. You will never expect it a second time, exactly the same. I don't like when he gives the homing attack prompt thinking, oh, that's a free hit right there, and miss it. <laughs> I did it again, the fool. Oh, this one has more than three hits. How dare. No. It's probably because it's that simple, it's like, eh, we might make it too easy. What do you think people face this the most? Ah, it's four it's times like this time. <laughs> Big difference. <laughs> Can't make it too easy. Alright, should be the uh, ball one again. And there was only three rings on that one. Yeah, there's just less rings now, so that means the next one's gonna be no rings. Oh, it's just the runner. That's good. I mean, he's on the runner right now. <laughs> How many of these machines does he just have flying around? Uh, he's running on the same Eggmobile. He's just like... I guess the idea is that the modular, I think. Like, you can see like certain part of it, part of it have like attachments and such. Like, I can see the thrusters in that front faceplate being an attachment. Okay, uh... Ooh. Something's happening. This thing will not take this hit. Yeah. Well, we beat all the bosses. What's next? They gotta be a unique boss right now, right? Oh, yeah. Ooh, is there no checkpoint for that one? Oh, there it was. Okay. And three rings. Okay. It's Sonic 2 all over again. <laughs> With a Death Egg robot. Because Ghost of Zero is one. Except this guy's much easier than the last one. <laughs> Before in Sonic 2, the Death Egg robot, you can only hit, like, a few amount of times. But it was the fact that you had no rings for the fight at all. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Those we'll sick life is bad. Even run out of lives is back to the start of the game for Sonic 2. It's nice that you give some indicator when he's about to hit you. Yeah, it's so kind of to do that. Where's the desperation mode? It's gotta kick in any minute now. Sure, you could like hit him if you wanted to, like when he comes down, but that's too dangerous. Yeah, just do it safe and steady. He's just doing, the, so steady. He's just doing the same thing up. multiple times. Wait, are you telling me there's patterns to this? Very simple patterns. How many hits has he got? <laughs> Maybe more than eight times, pretty sure. Is 
panic mode. It's gonna kick in any minute now. I can even more than that one. <laughs> I was pretty sure he was gonna fire at the thing. Yeah. You just see Dominic do it all the time. Unless this for is just to not use it now. Maybe? Oh no, there we go. He's smoking. Okay, now he's got lightning going on, so I can only hit him under certain stipulations. Oh no, he's slightly dangerous now. And also... That. He's moving now. Alright, I gotta stay back here. I gotta I wait for him to do something. <clears throat> That's the wrong side. I don't want to be here. Wait for the next one. Okay, he's got a fire at his arms, which will come pretty close. Do I have to hit that? How many times did you play this? <laughs> I just pay attention. Also, I may have done this boss a few times over. <laughs> Is that two hits? Yeah, it's like, you know that he's going to throw his arm before he did it. <laughs> well, he demonstrated before. Yeah, I've done this boss a few times to remember what to do. It must be just keep your distance and you'll be alright. I'm going to go with this thing, so I'm just going to go catch it. Like, this is clever, I'll give it for a boss design, it's unique. Just kind of wish the, the boss theme was a bit more, uh, energetic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And again, repeat. <laughs> You'll win eventually. That should be. Just gonna stay over here. Ooh, got me. And that was my only ring. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was my uh, fault. Yeah, did I was the whole thing now, because like, this one takes a while. Yeah, it does. And I only had the three rings, and I was right next to the wall when I was hit as well. <laughs> uh, so how can you not catch up to him here? Ah, uh, it's been tradition. Just accept it. <laughs> it's actually better to jump into him than the homing attack, which makes sense. Because, you know, if you're homing attack, you're going at full speed, so I'm not sure you knock back faster. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is it's much better. Alright, go away with good fuse, that one. Oh, he's jumping again. How dare he! Done by now. I think it's like maybe 12 hits or something like that. Mm. It's about vanish. Like you got a lot of them in right now. Ooh, that's my fault. Come on. <laughs> He's got a lot of hits in him. <laughs> Might need to do this a bit slower now. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to see. It's like I've hit him quite a few sort of times now. He should be in the panic mode. Yeah. He definitely has more than 12. Something tells me it's like 20 or something stupid. These. I get one. You should just stay a bit more careful. Okay? Sorry, it's just so uh, you know, we already did the whole panic thing and, you know, I just want to get to it again faster. Yeah, but like, the way you play, I know the logic because I do it very often as well. But no, watching from the sidelines, I can judge. <laughs> the judgment and it's like, this is what I do, and this is stupid because you should play slow because if you rush it, you will just keep failing. I just want to see if there's like faster ways to hitting them, that's the problem. Just 
Can I skill to the fish near the river when eventually? Eventually. Alright, now he's doing the panic thing. Okay, nice. So ideally what I want to do is spin dash into him and then homing attack to get good two solid hits slightly faster. Let's see if we do that so he runs into the wall. And that's just enough distance for him to restart, and here we go. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> not yet, <laughs> not yet. Oh, it, it lands where I'm standing. Okay. So ideally, I want that to land a bit ahead of me rather than behind. Yeah, I can get four hits. I'm happy with that. I think there's a combo going there. You. Damn, that's close. This is why I like to stay near the wall because it gives the most distance. Stand here. There it is. It's occasionally work out of this way. <laughs> yeah, so doing that, I, I launch myself to the wall and it's safer. Yeah, I do. Because I don't get knocked this far away. That doesn't sound safe. That works. <laughs> Now he's firing projectiles at me, so that's great. If I can ignore them. Oh, he can magnetize it! Damn! Okay, I'm stand a little further away. There we go. Uh, I mean, you have to touch the projectiles as well, so... Yeah. There. Ooh. Another one, it might be good. Where are the projectiles coming from, anyway? From um, heaven above. I mean, it's your in space, so that's pretty much everywhere. <laughs> Did not like that, that was pure luck. <laughs> you just still die. Oh, yeah, you're going to jump over me now, are you? Yeah, it's cute. He's doing it again. I heard, I heard the sound. I'm feeling all this off. That works. <laughs> Perfect. Like, a pop so it's, it's like, when they do the attacks that eventually uh, there's advantage, I keep doing it like, wait a sec, this is the only way you can help me. Oh, Why okay. do I keep doing it? This is the last hit, but it's completely random. Yeah, I gotta hit him now. Yeah, he, he does that. Oh. It's a desperation move just to one hit me. This is awful. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that it breaks the floor. Yeah, it's like, you gotta hit that last bit. If you miss it, well, tough shit. I... This is why I don't replay the game anymore. <laughs> this is just awful design. It's like, <laughs> oh, you thought you were winning while thing again. Fuck you. You're not winning this. Tuck those arms away, they're dangerous. You can poke someone's eye out with those. <laughs> Most likely mine. Alright, uh, I think the next four will do it. I need to prep myself better for that desperation attack. I didn't place myself right, I was too far away. Okay, yep. Desperation. He's in... He's in... Angry mode. I don't know what the label is. It's the second phase, that's what it is. It's a little closer than I would like. Please, rocket. Thank you. 
I think it's based on how far he moves. Okay, so the well, technique actually is double. For yeah, like how far, like it's how many steps he's made or something like that. Do that like four extra times? Something like that? Uh, something like that, yeah. As long as I hit him four times each. Also, the time is going up from doing all this, so great. Well, at least there's no S Wing, so you can not have them now. Yeah, but uh, if this is running classic psychologic, then I can only do this in 10 minutes. Wait, you only have 10 minutes? In the original games, I'm not sure if they've moved there or anything. There's no indication for that, so... No, you, that's just how it was in the old games. Like, if you took 10 minutes to do a stage, you just die. <laughs> I don't know, Bye. I'm not... <laughs> Sonic's impatient! That's just how he is. <laughs> uh, 10 bikes that... This was... Uh, programmer bike that kind of caused something up to 10 minutes of using <laughs> the same level. And this is the way they went for it. Most likely. Okay. It's probably just something to do, like, you keep the console on too long, and then, ah, it's gonna break. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what happened with, um... Ooh, where'd that come from? There we go. This is using his special abilities right now. So let me see again, Costa. Oh, I think he's gonna do his desperation. Yep, okay, yeah. so where is he landing? That way. There we go. Okay. Just nice. got that. <laughs> the floor doesn't break now, because of course it doesn't. Well, it's going to any second now. We just run the hell out okay. of here. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> we did it! Yay! I gotta give credit for the last one. Like, then at least there's some really good ideas, mechanically. Oh yeah, we can influence here, just a bit. Let's collect all the rings. Mm. Just try to. No, oh, we missed some, okay. Ring run rover. Perfect run rover. <laughs> yeah, he's mad at me for not collecting the emeralds, how dare I. Oh well. <laughs> it just would have been a slightly different ending. Like, slightly as in, hey, he's gonna use the emeralds to be superhero, that's it. <laughs> uh, kinda of reminds me of the... What's the video, so... Oh, I collected all 900 pine cones. <laughs> the true ending is that if you didn't do that, you wouldn't have mentioned that. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, that was pretty much what the ending was for Sonic 1 as well. Like, the major difference was you collected all six of the emeralds. There wasn't seven yet. They didn't think of that. So there was no super yet, so I was like, yay! Oh, there's, there's dimps. But yeah, you collected the emeralds, and then use them, they just disappear from your hands. <laughs> you don't use them, and suddenly flowers appear. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you caused flowers to appear, good job, and you just yay. lost the emeralds from doing that. <laughs> well done. Flowers are not that hard to grow, you don't need magic emeralds for that. Now you should see Sonic CD, apparently that's the power source in that one, flowers. Okay. <laughs> Animals, flowers, what's next? Darkness. Yeah, uh, of course. Wait, no, they, they did! <laughs> they did for Sonic Unleashed! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh. That's literally the power source that Eggman was using for all the bad nicks for that one. Is there... Also, I, just, I, Is there... I want to add that you kind of ruined uh, Hades for me as well, because you also have a resource called Darkness, <laughs> and I think for me it's every time I pick it up. Nah, that, uh, I'd label that an enhancement. Uh, not sure. <laughs> uh, sorry, I guess I'm scared to interrupt you there. That's fine, I just label this an enhancement with... Darkness! <laughs> Darkness, yeah. <laughs> Actually was... Not too bad, actually, revisiting it, though very short. Like, I'd say that this definitely could have been improved, and they did for episode 2, so that's something. 
That's that's nice done. Yeah, that went by so quick. I'm gonna have to do episode two now. <laughs> uh, not this stream, yeah. but the next one. We'll definitely do it. Okay, sounds good. And you get to tag so... along if you want to. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's a like this was supposed to be like an anniversary tile for the sake of you know it's Sonic Four, the long awaited sequel, even though it was a bit bare bones basic. With only, oh, that's awesome. with only like four acts and well, uh, yeah, four acts, which was just Green Hill again, uh, not Casino, not uh, Factory Stage, and not Labyrinth Zone. Just like, hmm, very original. Oh, well, you get what you get. I suppose. Ah, you didn't get all the emeralds. Screw you. <laughs> it's just you worth mocking about. Ah, you didn't get all the emeralds. You don't get to see the super secret ending, which is nothing at all. <laughs> uh. Yep, there it is. Well, I'm not gonna. You can't make me. Uh, seems the game said that you failed, so it just showed who the real losers and close it. Yeah, and here's the uh, overall map thing. Okay. And since we did a special stage and beat the boss, uh, yay, egg station zone. Ah, uh, okay. Well, yeah, if we wanted to, we can revisit any of the special stages we've already done for some reason. <laughs> Don't know why anyone would want that. Uh. Let me just go here. I just want to round this off with some fingers. <laughs> so it's fair. I modded it in. I'm surprised at how, like, it's actually not around much in the game itself with these bumpers. Yeah, you just take you only use them because you know, yeah. Well, right? Yeah, and they mostly appear in the special stages, which I completely ignored. So. <laughs> Need this as a gift now, and we'll be happy. <laughs> yeah, he was on the separated for Sonic. That was a fun. Okay. There we go. That's the stream. Uh, might as well show the thumbnail, which I did finish. Which ended. <laughs> I mean, it ended up closely accurate. It's just, you know, the sideways things what most people recognize Sonic 4 as, so. Okay, yeah. Now you get because slightly you better context. Memorable, so. Right, so now I gotta do episode two for this thumbnail, which will include Tails, because, you know, that's, that's what they did for Sonic 2. It's going to be me then. Yes. Right? <laughs> you're, oh. you're player two, as it should be. Of course. <laughs> Moving forward will be better, because it might not be finished in the <laughs> stream then. I play Sonic. <laughs> Okay, that'll do for a stream. That did qualify for a stream. We're now 1 hour 30, yeah, so yeah. that's enough. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, wait, almost forgot. Uh, so we're doing Don't Stop Together for a Sunday, so check out on that. Hopefully that'll this turn is going to be hard because I remember it being really hard and I don't remember anything about how it properly worked and what you should do. I know of it, I just never played it, so this would be a new experience for me. <laughs> I just remember that I really had trouble surviving to play with my friends, and I forgot everything about it, so it will not be better now. Well, we, there's five of us now, so I'm sure that's enough. What do you mean I made all the supplies? No, I didn't. Well, Clive over here drank yeah. all the water. We don't need water, that's the only thing I remember. Partly because of all the dumb monster videos. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's that's for Sunday. Alright, that'll do for a stream, so check back Sunday for About Hard and Idiots, and I guess uh, Tuesday for uh, Episode 2. Sunday, so, yeah. And Wednesday for XCOM. Yay! Alright, bye all. Bye.